If you're with a narcissist who's avoidant and you're in the devaluing stage where you feel like everything you say and do needs to be perfect or else you might lose this person, then get excited at the prospect of not having that person in your life. It is absolutely exhausting to always have to say the right thing, wear the right thing, do this, do that, to earn the narcissist's love. They dangle the carrot of their love in front of you and they say, jump, do tricks like a show horse and you prance around and you jump through hoops and it's never enough because a narcissist has a gross sense of entitlement. You could take them to the best restaurant in town and they will ask you, why didn't we go to this other Michelin restaurant? Why did you take me to this restaurant? You will never feel a level of appreciation that comes from somebody who genuinely respects and loves you. You will have a completely transactional relationship. Tit for tat, tit for tat. So in order to stop reaching for that carrot, you're going to need to reclaim the self-esteem that the narcissist has crushed into the ground during the entirety of this relationship. By journaling, by mantras, by telling yourself that you don't need to do tricks like a dog for love. You're worthy of love just the way that you are. If you don't feel that right now, keep telling it to yourself until you believe it. But I gotta tell you, you're gonna believe it a lot faster if you get out of the relationship with the narcissist and go no contact. Because otherwise, they are just constantly poking and prodding and nagging you and it's nearly impossible to get your self-esteem up when you're in that environment. It's kind of like eating 10 Big Macs a day and expecting to lose 10 pounds. You just can't make the progress that you need to make in order to be healthy. Be okay enough with yourself that if you have to walk away for good, you know that you are an awesome and worthy partner and you have great qualities within you that you will bestow onto somebody who is worthy of it, not to somebody who abuses you and continues to go around in this toxic loop with you over and over again. That's not a partner, that is an abusive narcissist. If you would like remote narcissistic abuse recovery coaching, you can email me, my email's in my bio.